I'm Tuck. And I'm Lenny Ben. Join us as we turn our Catalina 30 into our new dream home. And set sail on the adventure of a lifetime. All right, baby girl, where are you at? We are at the depot to take the ferry to the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, so, surprise, we did not make it home. What happened was we ended up stuck in New York City for three days because of the Tropical Storm Debbie. So, we'll chalk this one off the list too. We, were, we had no plans on doing this, but so, now we'll, see some sights around New York City. So in order to go to the Statue of Liberty, we come down here and get in the old train depot. So we decided, what are we doing? Running in the rain to go to Ellis Island. Yeah. My least favorite thing to do. Well, we're going to take this ferry over to... Statue of Liberty. Yeah, we're going to go to the Statue of Liberty. So, this is the old train depot. The, then there's the ferry. We're glad that we kind of got stuck. Um, we wouldn't have picked the three days to get stuck in New York, but here's what it is. I, I would have rather been stuck in D.C. than New York. I've been here, but, you know, through the last year, we have taken you guys, and we have been through just about every major city yeah all the monuments for the and, most part and, and all the major cities of the u.s before we get out of here so it's pretty cool like we're doing like the u.s in one year and working and doctors and all that shit yeah i think the last one we have is what mount rushmore Should have known I'd have been on a boat everywhere I go. I gotta be at the water or something. So, what do you think? It's a boat. We on a boat. Tell everybody how the, this works. Um, it's hop on, hop off. You can get back on the boat every 35 minutes. So you can go from Ellis Island and then over to the Statue of Liberty. And then when you're done there, they take you back to parking. You basically have nine hours to spend between Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty before you have to catch the final ferry back to parking. And a ton of gift shops. We're going to show you food from different places that we go. And we're foodies. She's a pastry chef. She loves to cook. I love to cook. And so we thought that we're going to start entering in some of the street foods and stuff for all these places that we go in the, in the videos. Show you what we got. We got fish and chips, but I don't think we're going to be impressed. No. What do you guys think? I think it's overpriced. 
but I think it's the novelty of the whole deal. Let's see. We'll see what it tastes like. So this is worse than a kid's fish stick. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. So it was $14 for this. Not worth it. Not worth it. And honestly, everything else coming out looks the same. They pre-make everything in the morning and then they just repeat it as they need it throughout the day. So, yeah guys, you come to Ellis Allen, the cafe is a hard pass. It's a good thing we didn't come for the food, we came for the museum. Right. And we were hungry, so we thought we would try it, but don't do it. We make that mistake. Just say no. For any of you guys that watched the movie Hitch, this is where the registry is that they were looking at, or in the movie they showed looking at. This is where all the immigrant families and different people signed in as they come into the country has immigrants here. Oh. All right, now we're leaving. We're Ellis Island. We're going over to the Statue of Liberty. Hopefully, Check. before it rains. Yeah, it's a pretty nasty day today, but it's better than sitting in a hotel. I hate hotels, by the way. It just that is like one of the worst places in the world for me. But. Dad in elevators. <laughs> <laughs> Trunks of cars. Trunks of cars. Yeah, it's about, the, it's about the same, right? This is this is what you do when you're traveling. You just make the best out of all of this, right? It's yeah. like we got stuck. We got stuck two years ago coming in from Guatemala and we made the best of that. But Yeah, well, that day we that time we spent three days poolside doing nothing but drinking and swimming. Right. Because it's short notice, we couldn't get tours of the statue. So we're not really interested in a food court and another gift shop. No, one's enough. So um, we're just gonna catch a ride back. If we wanted to be here, we wanted to see the statue, but I don't need a key chain. What, what I wanted to, was to see the statue. And so seen it and- Done it. We have this video. That, that's the reason that we do these videos is these, this is my souvenir. I can look back and say, yes, I was here. I experienced this, and I'm glad you guys are coming with us. So are we on to the next monument? So we're on to something different. Well, let's go find the next one. So there we got Brooklyn. There's a Brooklyn Bridge behind that boat. So coming through here, you see all of these trees right here. On the other side of those trees is where the monuments, the reflection pools are for the World Trade Center. They, they stood right in there. We're going to make our way over there to that a little bit later. All right. Best thing I've seen all day. You lie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these guys. They got a sailboat, baby. That is, that's not a sailboat, that is a sailing dinghy. That's not a sailing dinghy. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sailboat. As you know, we've been traveling for almost six weeks now. Like, and we, I think we've slept in our own bed maybe... Six times? Six times, yeah, six times. Oh, it's the September 11th Memorial. So this is the Memorial of the Twin Towers the empty sky memorial and it has the names of missing people and so just um let me let me go back over here and let you see this this is the names of the people that were not accounted for from the twin towers because we entered in on the jersey side to see the statue of liberty this is the old train depot and then you buy your tickets in there, you get on the ferry, and you stay on the Jersey side. 
we're going to make our way over to, new, the, to the New York side. That way we can show you the reflecting pools of where the World Trade Center stood. So these are actually pieces that come out of the World Trade Center. Pieces of the steel that um, when they dismantled it. Are you serious? Yeah. So now, what time is it? It's time to go find something to eat that's not... Fried? <laughs> well, no, I don't even give a shit what it is as far as fried or whatever. I want something good to eat. We're on a mission, preferably like a taco stand or a street stand. Or, or dumpling stand. Something. Dumplings would be good. Yeah. <laughs> find something that's not... Preferably not have been microwaved or some <laughs> shit. I don't know. Oh, that, was gross. <laughs> that was nasty. Well, no, the French fries were good. But the, um, but the fish was not hard. real fish. It's really hard to fuck up French fries. But guys, we're gonna go find something to eat. Oh. And on to the World Trade Centers. I think we're at the World Trade Monument. So yeah, that's exactly where we're at. We we're going across the street and go to the where the World Trade Center used to stand. Well, actually standing in where the um, World Trade Center used to be. I remember when um, these failed. I was at work and then we all watch the news sad day for our country sad day for a lot of families so the tree that we just seen that you know, if you i'll stop and you read the plaque it was uh about the only thing that survived these buildings falling So it's kind of hard to smile at a place like this. It's time to get something to eat. Snack? No, snack. <laughs> we snack all the time. We can't eat very much in one setting. It's just, I, I, it's impossible. <laughs> but what we can do is eat a little bit all day long. Yep. And that's what we're about to do. We're gonna stop and get one of these little parts. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna have a lamb gyro. So we have learned that we actually like lamb now. We're changing our diets just a little bit. We've been pescatarian for like two years and we're yeah, it's time for a little bit of a change. And so we're right here outside of where the World Trade Centers used to be. And we see this little food cart. And anything's gotta be better than the fish we had. We've got you some food, now we've got to find a table. No table. <laughs> yeah, there's no table. So we're gonna do like the locals. We've seen people come over here. This is where they eat. There was uh, people going in and out of it, so it's not like uh, other people were buying. So maybe we're not the only trusting souls. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me let me try. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. That's good. That's really good. What do you think for coming out of a, a little street cart? I like it. Hmm? I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to eat it though. Eat it like a taco. <laughs> Complicated. It's not, it's not working with me. Mm-hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so if you're in this area, don't go to the expensive restaurants. That guy's pretty good. He's at the corner of Liberty and South End Avenue. 